Annyeong! Hi guys, this is Olivia. Today I'm gonna talk about five Korean slangs that you must know. Then let's get started right away. First slang is 어이가 없네. 어이가 없네. This expression can be used when someone has no words to express his or her feeling, usually when someone is frustrated or something is extremely unreasonable or ridiculous. 그거 아끼려고 끼니 걸러가면서 일하는데 사무실에서 본사에서 돈이 안 나와서 그런다고. 그러... So in this clip, when Yuan heard that the money that his company owed the man was only 420만 원, which is around 3600 US dollars, he became frustrated and said, 어이가 없네. 어이가 없네. 어이가 없네. Because 3600 US dollar is nothing to him. So when you say it, it's not 어이가 없네. It's more like 어이가 없네. Next is 밥 한번 먹자. 밥 한번 먹자. The literal meaning of the expression is let's eat together. But this expression is usually used as a greeting unless specific date, time or location is proposed. 밥이나 같이 먹자. 내가 그쪽으로 갈 때. As I said, 밥이나 같이 한번 먹자. 내가 그쪽으로 갈게. He's proposing to eat together and is also proposing a specific location. So, he really meant to eat together. On the other hand, when the actor said 밥이나 한번 먹자, he meant that he wants to get to know this person and to build a relationship rather than the literal meaning, which is let's eat together. This is one of the confusing expressions for foreigners to understand as it's used as a greeting or just a filler word. So you need to pay attention. Third slang is 미쳤다. 미쳤다. The literal meaning is it's crazy. However, this expression can be also used when something is really good. As Hwaza said, 김치 미쳤다. She meant the kimchi tastes so good as it can go crazy. You know what I mean? Next slang is 킹받네. 킹받네. Which means you are angry or you got tight. Younger people use this expression literally every day whenever they are mad or angry. The origin is 열받네, meaning I am angry. So 킹받네 is to show that they're completely mad or angry because king means very or completely here. So it's combination of king and 열받네. 화가 많이 날것 같은데 지금. 아, 킹받네. 멤버들은 Red Velvet Joy lost her control because she heard that the lyrics is about a two-timing guy that makes her so mad. So she said, "Kingbane." Last one is "som tanen sai." "Som tanen sai." This expression means that two people have feelings for each other, but they're not officially dating yet. But there's a good chance it will work out. 여기서 썸 타는 사이로 다시 만난 거 어때요? Here, 박보검 says, 우리 썸 타는 사이로 다시 만나는 거 어때요? He's asking whether they have a chance or not. 썸 타는 사이로 다시 만난 거 해요, 우리. And Songaegi replied with, 우리 썸 타는 사이로 다시 만나는 거 해요. Meaning, she is also interested in moving forward with the arrangement. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and set notification for more videos like this and everything else about Korea. Then I'll see you guys next time. Bye!